Valley of the Moon is a wilderness adventure destination a little over an hour's drive east of downtown San Diego that offers remote hiking trails, numerous rock climbing crags, gnarly off-road trails, and terrific views. The area's surreal cliff and boulder formations are ancient remnants of a massive layer of granite created by the San Andreas Fault that has eroded over millions of years. The mountainous, semi-arid wilderness is home to mule deer, bighorn sheep, golden eagles, kangaroo rats, and many other high desert denizens. While the terrain varies in this mountainous country, the average elevation of Valley of the Moon is around 4,000 feet. The roads become increasingly rugged as you progress into the area, which presents a serious barrier to entry for anyone who doesn't have a solid off-road vehicle or isn't willing to hike in. For those who do put in the effort, a rich payoff awaits. In addition to the recreational opportunities and the natural beauty of the area, visitors can explore Elliott Mine and Smuggler's Cave, two remnants of human activity from the late 1800s and early 1900s. Part of the Valley of the Moon area lies within the 31,000 acre Hacumba Wilderness, a protected area on the eastern flank of Southern California's coastal peninsular ranges. The area is overseen by the Bureau of Land Management. It abuts the U.S.-Mexican border, and it's not uncommon to see U.S. Border Patrol agents patrolling the area in trucks and ATVs. Motorized vehicles are not allowed within the Hacumba Wilderness, but there are plenty of places to explore in four-wheel drives in the BLM lands just outside of the official wilderness area. And visitors can hike to the parts that are off-limits to vehicles. The trailhead for the area, located about five miles east of Hacumba Hot Springs, in the southwest corner of Imperial County, is a little over an hour's drive east of downtown San Diego and about 50 miles west of El Centro. The trailhead is just off Interstate 8 and is marked by a small kiosk that has a map of the area. There's parking here for people who want to leave a vehicle behind and truck pool into the valley or hike in. The primary route into Valley of the Moon is to head east from the trailhead along the gravel road, Route 155, which will soon bend south and start to climb a mountain. This road is paved in places, but it's full of potholes, bumps, and rocky areas that you won't want to attempt in anything less capable than an all-wheel drive SUV. The trailhead for Smuggler's Cave is 1.43 miles along the road from the trailhead kiosk mentioned before. The cave is about a quarter mile hike from the road. The cave is formed by an overhanging edge of a huge granite boulder. While apocryphal, various writers have tied the cave to Tirzo de la Toba, a Mexican bandit who supposedly stored supplies in the cave. More certain is that Native American Kumyai people lived in the area at some time in the past. On the rocks near the cave, you can find morteros, divots in rocks where the indigenous Kumyai people ground food. Just beyond the Smuggler's Cave trailhead, the road into the area splits. The left fork heads down a steep rocky hill into a valley surrounded by granite cliffs. This is where the trail gets much gnarlier and only high clearance four-wheel drive vehicles should continue. Once you are down in the valley, if you follow the road for another mile or so, you'll come to the steep climb to Elliott Mine. Located on the top of Teje Peak, a popular destination for people exploring the area on foot or four-wheel drive vehicles. The summit of the peak offers terrific 360 degree views of the Valley of the Moon and into Mexico. Jim Elliott, a local prospector, established the claim to search for gold and later sold the claim to a pair of brothers who mined it for tungsten, according to newspaper accounts. Be careful when exploring around the mine, especially with kids and pets, as there are multiple open shafts and at least one that drops about 20 feet straight into the mine. Lastly, we should mention the rock climbing. 
People sometimes refer to Valley of the Moon as San Diego's Joshua Tree, as the granite crags of the area are so similar in look and feel to that iconic climbing area. Valley of the Moon offers 64 named sport and trad rock climbing routes, ranging from 5.7 to 5.11 C in difficulty. There's also tons of bouldering if you don't feel like roping up. For more information on climbing routes, visit the guide on mountainproject.com. We've covered only a small portion of the things to explore in Valley of the Moon. For a map of the area, directions, and more detailed information on points of interest, visit the guide on OutdoorSoCal.com linked in the video description.